Here's another bright spot. This year's corn crop, especially in the wake of last year's devastating Midwest drought. Corn plantings this year are expected to be the highest in decades. And Jane Wells tells us what that means for farmers and consumers. Farming is like housing. It's all about location, location, location. I'm a bit nervous. Nebraska corn farmer Jason Cole should be. He's coming off a horrible 2012 due to the drought. I expected around 150 bushel uh, average yield going into the year, and I am up with 75 bushel on my corn. Kurt Mowry's Texas operation could not have been more different. Our 2012 corn crop was excellent. Uh, it's probably the best corn crop we've uh, ever raised down here. Mowry already has corn coming out of the ground, and he's optimistic about 2013. Farmers are expected to plant the most acres of corn in 77 years. And if the crop is good, Corn prices could fall as much as 40% and bring down the cost of everything else, especially beef. America's cattle herd is the smallest it's been in decades. Ranchers have been getting rid of animals because it costs too much to feed them. Texas rancher Bob McCann says his herd is 25% smaller than it used to be. Until there's some really good relief in the drought situation, it's going to be hard to rebuild the herd. Kurt Mowry says what happens next won't just impact American food costs, but global supplies. If anybody has a marginal or a total crop failure, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start impacting worldwide uh, the availability of those commodities on the food shelf. It's that critical. I've never seen it in my lifetime. The National Weather Service isn't providing much hope. Its new spring forecast calls for warmer than normal temperatures with little relief from the drought. For Nightly Business Report, Jane Wells, Moore Park, California.